Hello and welcome amigos to another Taco Tuesday. This Taco Tuesday is gonna be extra delicious. We have some fried avocado, some crispy chicken with an amazing slaw, and to top it off, we have a really delicious salsa. So if you guys are interested in finding out how I learned to make this, please keep watching. To your saucepan, you're gonna add your water, mangos. If you have frozen, this will work. But if you can get a hold of the fresh, that's preferred. Vinegar, jalapenos, green onions, and sugar. Mix all those ingredients. And we're gonna continue to cook on a medium low heat until our tomatoes have softened and you guys are gonna see how it looks more like of a puree-ish type look. So just hang tight as that cooks. While our sauce for our slaw is cooking, we're gonna start roasting our pepper, okay? We're gonna be using a red bell pepper and this is honestly a deal breaker if you don't have it because it really adds a good flavor uh, to the sauce we're gonna be making. And careful with your hands. Apparently I'm a pro here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna roast my ancho chiles. Just briefly, these are done quickly, so don't leave these here too long. Mmm, that smells good, right? Yes. Give it that instant heat. We just want it to get nice and soft. And as soon as you take these out, you're gonna remove the seeds, okay? Mira, se está haciendo puff up. If P. Diddy was a chile, he would be a nacho chile. Se hace puff up. El puffy. El puffy. What is it, P. Diddy, puffy? What is he now? I don't know, girl. It's been ages for me, honey. I'm that old, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these are set. We're gonna continue to roast our red bell pepper, so hang tight. I don't know what they want from me. <laughs> Just get in there and remove all those seeds. Okay? Doesn't have to be like all of them, just some. Well, we didn't get a rattlesnake, but that pepper is a rattlesnake. <laughs> You just want to take that stem out and some of the seeds. But if you like a thicker type of sauce, you can keep the seeds in there. But this one did pretty good. Casino tenía nada. Didn't really have anything. It smells divine in here, right? Amazing. Oh. That ancho chili really brought in the flavors and I can smell the mango reducing over there. Girl, I feel like I'm in Mexico right now. <laughs> and I'm going to get some tortillas o vaqueras mm -hmm. and a good burrito. Oof. Yes. All right, friends, hang tight as we get through these little steps, okay? Don't go falling asleep on me. But I know some of you are skipping. That's okay, I still love you. Our red bell pepper is ready. I'm just gonna put it in my Tupperware. I'm gonna close it up for a little bit and let it steam so that that way it's easy to peel. I'm gonna be peeling this pepper off camera, but you guys have seen me do it plenty of times. But if you wanna see it again, just let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to. Our mangos are nice and soft. They're gonna be ready to be pureed. So let's go over to the island so that we can get started on making this slaw. Friends, in this Ninja food processor, I have the puree that we made with the mango and the jalapeno, and that's all we have. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pulse it slightly just so we can get it nice and smooth, okay? And if you guys are interested in this, you can find this along with that roasting rack on the Amazon storefront. Uh, link is in the description box area. Now let's do this. So just hold the button down about 10, 15 seconds and we're set. Let's transfer this over to a bowl so we can mix all our ingredients together. It almost looks like jalapeno relish. Almost. Well, I have a secret recipe for that. The best. I know, I've been working that one for years and... I love my fries with the jalapeno relish. <laughs> if you guys want that recipe, let me know. I can, give, I can do that one for a giveaway. Nice. Right, mm -hmm. or like a milestone, mm -hmm. yeah. Taste this right here, friends. It is so good just like that. You're gonna get excited, okay? But calm down, we still need to add a few more ingredients. So we're gonna add some chopped cabbage and shredded 
carrot. If you guys have one of those bags that um, is a pre-made slaw, perfect for this. Cut some time. Not flavor, just time. Add your freshly chopped cilantro. And for those of you that can't stand it, just use green onions instead. You'll be okay. Or add one leaf. One leaf? Cloud's trying to convert you. <laughs> Let's just mix all these ingredients together. And you guys know I picked the smallest bowl in the world. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells fresh, right? Mm -hmm. I can get behind this, this coleslaw. <laughs> you and me, honey. We're foodies. Mm -hmm. And Views Club, don't feel left out because you and me, we're in a club. Oh yeah! <laughs> This smells amazing, friends. Ooh, you are in for quite a treat. These are the kind of things that you need to taste. I want you guys to taste this before we have to refrigerate this because we want this slot to be nice and cold, okay? Let's see if Cloud agrees with you guys. It's perfect. Do you love her? Yes, and when do you ever hear me say that it's perfect? I'm always like, ay, eso le pimienta. Oh, oh it needs it. maybe a little bit less salt, maybe a little bit of this honey. All right, friends, it's approved by you guys and Cloud. Now we're gonna go ahead and place, um, I'm gonna place a plate over it because I'm trying to watch my plastic consumption, but you guys make it comfortable for your home and refrigerate this until it's cold. I would say a good 45 minutes to an hour minimum, but if you can't wait that long, just go for it, okay? All right, thank you, next. In your food processor, add your roasted bell pepper, your chiles. I'm currently obsessed with the sweetness of these chiles, girl. I love the smell. I mean, they kind of have like a fruity citrus smell to it that I'm just so happy about. Garlic, cumin, brown sugar, or you can use coconut sugar, and that's what I'm using today. Oh, my favorite. I love coconut sugar, especially in my coffee. Who loves you, girl? Who loves you? <laughs> Salt and pepper here. Rice, wine, and vinegar. Lemon juice. Chipotle. And you can use two to three, and you want to keep some of that adobo sauce in here, okay? Don't be shy about it. This is the one time where you should be scraping the can. <laughs> That's right. We're just gonna pulse about 10, 15 seconds. I held the button press for about 10, 15 seconds. We just wanna, you know, a little chunky, a little smooth, a little bit of both. Transfer all that salsa into a bowl and you guys can just go ham on it like this for salsa and chips it's perfect it's not spicy it's sweet smoky uh, with the subtle sweetness and to the salsa we're gonna add our mayonnaise and just mix all of it together Time for a taste. You ready? Mm. Isn't that good? <laughs> All right, let's set this to the side and get started with our coating for our avocados. Now for our cornflakes coating, we're gonna need some cornflakes, okay? I have a box of pre-crumbed cornflakes. Panko crumbs are optional, but I love the crisp that it gives. Almonds. I know some of you are allergic, just keep them out. Pepper flakes. Sesame seeds. You know what this looks like. She's gonna blow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what this looks like, it reminds me of? What? Um, space balls. <laughs> when they're in the sand, yes. <laughs> they're combing the desert. <laughs> yeah. 
sugar, and some coarse salt. If you don't have coarse salt, don't worry about it. Just substitute it with your uh, salt of preference. We're looking for a nice coarse crumb, okay? For the coating. So even if you see the almonds nice and a little chunky like that, we should be okay to continue. Now, next step. To our eggs, we're gonna add our milk. I know we have a lot of steps, friends, but it's gonna be in detail in the description area for you because I really want you guys to try these tacos. They are amazing. So just mix your eggs and your milk, okay? Faster. Now that we have all our ingredients set, let's start assembling so that we can go ahead and get closer to this tasty and delicious taco. This is all-purpose flour, and we're gonna be using this flour for drenching. We're gonna start with our avocados. All I do is I slice it in half, and then I come in and scoop it this way. And you wanna make sure that your avocados are firm, they're not the mushy ones, okay? Because you're gonna need a little bit more of a firmer, but ripe avocado. Okay, my hands are clean and the avocados are so delicate that you want to use your hands for this part. Okay, so all we want to do is we just want to coat our avocado with the flour. Dust it off, place them back over there. Get all that excess flour off. And I'm gonna continue to do these to the rest of the avocados, okay? Sounds good to me. Yeah, you're already happy? Happy birthday to me. Ooh. Happy birthday, Cloud. Thank you so much. Okay, we're set with our avocados and I still have sticky fingers and I'm gonna get started on the chicken. We're gonna do the same thing to the chicken and I'm using uh, chicken thighs. I just removed the bone and that's what we got going on. And I just sliced them into thin little tenderloin looking ones. Just like this. I know that when you're uh, coating and uh, dipping things in egg and all that it gets kind of messy So I definitely suggest you guys going with three bowls three containers that you feel comfortable with and just have them line up and ready Okay, so once you get one done, you can just move on to the next one And like I showed you guys start with your avocado when you're dipping the things first and that way you're not cross-contaminating anything Okay, we have everything all coated. Let's go ahead and dust all that excess flour off and place it back into this bowl. That way when we clean up, it's easy cleanup. Let's just go with it. I prefer the smaller pieces, but I know some of you prefer the thicker pieces of chicken. So let me go rinse my hands, clean up a bit, and I'll see you guys for our next step. Now we're gonna go ahead and dip an egg and then into our cornflakes uh, coating, okay? I'm gonna use my hands for the avocado because it's just gonna be a lot easier and you have to be very delicate with avocado because we don't wanna mush it up. I think this is a fun one for the kids. Thank you. <laughs> 
nice little coating. I'm just gonna place it on my rack. I'm gonna continue to do this with the rest of the avocado, so hang tight, friends. I'm done with the avocado, now I'm gonna get started on our chicken. Make the egg drip off. And this is a good time with this kind of seasoning on your chicken that you can make extra for those times where you just need that coated chicken with a, for like a dish with rice or a salad or something like that. These are great for that. For some chicken tenders. Chicken tenders, yes. Change it up a little bit, friends. How beautiful does this look? It smells amazing too. Dust the excess off and place it on your rack. Because whatever you coated it with is what's gonna stick on and it is what it is, friends. Don't try to get more on there. <laughs> and you really don't wanna make them too gunky. I'm gonna continue with the rest of the chicken to coat. Drip that egg off. Place it in the coating. And we're just gonna to continue to do the same thing, okay? In my cast iron, I'm gonna be frying with canola oil, and I'm gonna show you how I check my oil to see if we're ready to fry. So you're gonna dip a wooden chopstick, a wooden spoon, never plastic, never metal, and when you see it bubbling, that means that your oil is ready to fry. Now let's get started. If you see too much smoke coming up, that means that your oil is way too hot and it's not gonna cook thoroughly. You're gonna burn the outside and it's gonna be raw on the inside and we don't want that. So just take it easy, friends. We're gonna begin with our avocado and our avocado is gonna be fried super quickly. Each avocado is going to take about a minute in frying. Not too long because we don't want it to get mushy. We just want to fry that nice uh, cornflakes coating we have on it. Be careful. You should use your tongs if you're not comfortable with the oil. If you notice, I only did one fourth of the pan filled with oil. I didn't fill it up halfway or even beneath that. Um, halfway mark. It was one fourth of oil so that way it doesn't just splatter everywhere. It's more of a gentle frying right now. Is this your favorite cast iron for frying? You know what? We saved this cast iron because remember I was going to put it in the giveaway and I'm like I can't give up. It's a cast iron. I have a lot of faith in cast iron. We worked on it for a while. We did. It took us like a month to mm -hmm. get it back in shape but right now it's my current favorite and even though it says that it was pre-coated, it wasn't. So it took us some time to get there. And I think the best way to do that is fry with your cast iron. I think that's a great way and keep it clean. Do you guys see how the coating changes colors? We want that good uh, crispy coating, okay? The specks of almond, um, they look great. And they taste great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just gives them another another look. I like that. Yeah. I know all my veggie friends are gonna love this, and all my avocado friends, you guys are gonna love this combination. I definitely 
um, encourage you guys to try this over the weekend because it, it can get tedious, but it's one of those weekend uh, type things or weekend prep. Put on some good music. Yep. Or FaceTime a good friend. <laughs> you said familiar. it, honey. <laughs> you said it, honey. No, those days are over. No, they're those not. Short lived. For you. Okay. <laughs> what is everybody doing? Zoom and all that during these times right now? Mm hmm. It's a new way to office, right? Well, I've been there for a while, but yeah, I yeah. guess it is. <laughs> I mean, that's your day to day. <laughs> Before I add our chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out our oil with our skimmer, just because we don't wanna burn our oil. Remember, I recycle my oil and I'll put a link in the description area and you guys can follow along kind of with what I do to save the oil. If you guys are interested in these skimmers, there are uh, three different sizes. Um, I purchased one that has three in one and everybody that's purchased them, I think we all love them. If you love them, let us know in the comments. They're a lifesaver. Or a cooking saver. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna start with our chicken, okay? Don't overfill your pan. The cooking time for your uh, chicken is gonna be very different depending if you're using chicken breast or the dark meats. Make sure to look in the description area and I'll give you guys a little bit more details. Now hang tight as we continue to fry it up. So it's been about four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. Ooh, you're good. Four minutes and 23 seconds. Girl. <laughs> like a boss. I'm gonna continue to fry my chicken. Just hang tight, friends, while we get to our next step. When you see those bubbles like that, you know that you have that right heat to fry it up really, really good. Okay, I'm done frying. Now I'm just gonna get a few french fries because this taco tastes best with some french fries. I know, we're going for it, guys. So hang tight as we fry some french fries and we get ready to assemble our taco. All right, friends, we have all of our ingredients set. They're ready to serve, even our fresh tortillas. Let me show you how to assemble this taco. Place your slaw right at the bottom. Your chicken and your avocado. Let's see how we're gonna fit this baby. Right there. And now you wanna use a lot of this sauce, like a lot, a lot. And this is wonderful because this with the french fries is divine. Now let's go ahead and get a big, huge bite. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Cloud and I adore you and we're wishing you the best. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, adios. One of my favorite spots in Austin, Texas is a place called Mighty Comb. They serve what we just made in a cone, kind of like you would a snow cone, 
and you can either pick avocado, chicken. Their sauce for dipping your french fries is out of this world. So if you guys have an opportunity, I'll put a link in the description so that you guys can check it out. And they've been so kind enough to share it with the world. So they have a starter recipe for this and I've adjusted a few things to make it comfortable for my home. But definitely you guys, if you're ever in the Austin area, you need to look them up. It's a food truck but it's a fancy smanshy meal. <laughs> meal. I can't even get my words out. It's so, so good. I definitely recommend you guys try it. So now you guys get to take the first bite. Yeah? Take a big, big bite, friends. Oh no, you guys are being babied now. Come on, be big boys and big girls. <laughs> Eat it up. I'm salivating. I am elated and excited for this one. Great to eat something that works so hard to make. <laughs> What's that song from Top Gun? Sing it for us. I want you to sing it while I'm eating this. Do it, Cloud. Take my breath away. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna let her have this moment to herself. I never knew a love. A love that could be sweeter. Mm. Friends, if you make something this weekend, let it be this taco. The coleslaw is so flavorful that it has a slight spice, but it's not overpowering because it's sweet from the mango. I know you guys like me saying mango. It's mango. <laughs> but the creaminess from the avocado in here, just the coating on the chicken and the chicken is juicy i use the thighs bendito all right this is going to get serious here but i definitely recommend you guys making this make sure you make some french fries for the kids and be a kid this day because bring the whole family in have them help you and get it done friends wow this is a no yeah <laughs> You guys don't need to see anything further. Okay, we're out. <laughs>